Hello friends, my name is Sumit and welcome to the series of tutorials on multi-threading in Java. This is the fifth video tutorial and before this what we had seen is about the executor service and we had seen certain methods like execute, submit, etc. And today we will work on the real life implementation of executor service. So suppose we want to send mail to students in the university regarding their courses like in what courses they have registered and suppose at particular time I want to invoke a method which calls a method to send mail to all the students and suppose in the university there are 6000 students and for sending the courses that is in what courses they have registered we want to fetch data from database tables so for fetching data from different tables and fetching all the properties and matching all the properties and sending a particular mail is a kind of hectic task so suppose it takes around 0.5 seconds to send a mail to a particular student so in this scenario as if you can see suppose 0.5 seconds it takes for sending one mail then for 6000 students it will take 300 seconds 3000 seconds sorry and it will be around 50 minutes so you can see how much hectic task it will become if you are using just a single thread so in these scenarios multi-threading comes into a part and for that executor service is a good option to use and so just take this example only we will see how to get more efficient code and to execute these type of tasks so we have created a class executor service real life problem inside this we have one main method so let's create a class name it as class real problem or just name it as send mail which implements runnable and add the unimplemented method inside this what I will do is I will simply write thread dot sleep and let it wait for 0.5 seconds that is 500 milliseconds and I will surround it with try catch block so just suppose this to be a function which is sending the mail to different students what I will do here I will execute the executor service class name it as executor service es is equal to new or this will be executor dot new fixed thread pool let it be initially one only so that you can see the difference and inside this what I'll do I'll simply write a for loop for int i is equal to 0 i less than let's see we are sending mail to 10, 10 person and i plus plus inside this what I'll do I will execute the executors service to call this met method so sub we will call submit method and inside this I will simply call our sending mail thread and I will close this after this I will shut down the executor service and one more method is there that is es dot await termination let me tell you what is this time dot time unit dot minutes surrounded with try catch block so what exactly I have written let me explain you 
I have written a class which implements runnable and it takes around 0.5 seconds to execute this task. And from the main method, I have called executor service to create a single thread and I pass this in the fixed thread pool. And for 0 to 10, I am passing 10 times this executor service to do my task of sending mail. After this, I am shutting down the executor service and for await termination, the executor service will wait everything to shut down and to be done completely. Then only it will proceed whatever after this will come. So we are awaiting termination for in terms of minutes that is one minute. After this, I will simply write a time to show you the exact time which it takes. So for that, let me just do some date format. Simple date format I will use this only and inside this I will pass in terms of yy that is year, month and date also in hour, minutes and second. So this is the format which I have chosen right now and after the executor service is called I will simply write I will simply print the time and the time which should be printed is dot new date. So in the, the method will be called, we will get the time to be printed here. And after the termination of all the work, after the completion of our work, we will get get to print the same thing here here so that we can see the time difference. So let us run this code. Okay. See initially we got the time and this code is being executed. See it appro approximately took 5 seconds. Why it took 5 seconds? Because here it take it is taking 0.5 seconds and we are calling this 10 times so it has appro approximately taken 5 seconds. And this is being done with single thread when we are using. Suppose we are not using single thread. Suppose we will take more number of threads. Let it be 2. And when I will execute this method, see it take around 2.5 or 3 seconds you can say. And increase the number of threads to 10. Save this. See, it took nearly 1 second. So this is the main benefit of executor service class and when you are using executor service just increase the number of threads and execute any task. So the scenario which we have seen like sending mails to these kind of students we can simply use the worker threads and increase the number of threads to send this mail. Suppose this is taking only 0.5 second if you are using a single thread it will take 50 minutes but when you are using thread pool and create multiple number of threads it will just automatically do in a minimum number of time. So this is the real life execution of executor thread. Thank you for watching.